one thing that really makes Aptera special is what makes all new inventions special. They come from necessity. Let's think back a little bit to Tesla and let me explain my argument why I think Aptera is better than Tesla. Scary, I know. But go back to when Tesla was founded by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpanin. They founded this company out of necessity. They're like, wait a minute, we can't continue to drive on fossil fuels. It's not sustainable. We have to do something. So they started developing an electric car. Very good. A little while later, uh, later some bold investors showed up, one of which being Elon Musk, who had just sold uh, his PayPal platform to eBay. He was flush with cash. He said, let me throw some at this project, uh, which thank goodness he did. And then he became the controlling interest, the CEO, so forth, and started taking it to the masses. But it still left a problem. The, the network, charging network, was nowhere near able to do what was going to have to be done. So Tesla, again, in a move that we all know now to be genius, uh, it started up the, the network, the Tesla charging network. Now, if you think about at the time they were doing that, most of the country here in the United States didn't even think it was a problem. They didn't think electric cars were going to take off. They didn't think it was ever going to matter because there's gas stations every two minutes. Uh, we don't need this technology. At the same time, uh, Elon Musk, Tesla, and other investors, and a huge loan from the government that helped Tesla get started, about a half a billion dollars, and other whatever else they got funding from, they started dumping money into not just producing cars, but then producing this network of chargers. So genius. So that's where Tesla, in my opinion, looking back on it now, of course, I'm not a genius. I didn't decide to do this. I can only recognize genius after it already happened and you see the results. So that's why I can comfortably say it's genius now. I would never judge people on the front end of a project, uh, but having seen the results, you can see the genius in it in the supercharging network and the cars. It did not fix though the real problem. It still takes dirty fuel to make a enough electricity to charge your Tesla and any other electric car. Now, certainly there are some areas where wind and solar is being heavily utilized. There's other areas where it's being completely ignored. And it is certainly not a large enough portion of the electricity we use to offset the dirty energy that's building electricity. Rather, it's coal mines, those are fewer. Uh, natural gas is cleaner, but still dirty. Uh, so they did not solve that issue. Now let's go to the Aptera. Why I think Aptera is, in the, when we look at it in the future, we look back at it, we're gonna say, now that is a genius company. The Aptera, it goes along with the, the same idea that we cannot exist on fossil fuels anymore. We have to change. It's a battery electric car that does that. It's hyper efficient, which means we're gonna use less precious minerals because we don't need as big of batteries. Also, we're gonna spend less time charging it, which means we don't need as much dirty fuel to run electric generators to charge these things, our electric companies. So those things are right in line with Tesla, just a little better. Uh, but then let's go a step further and say, wait a minute. So the charging network is pretty much solved in the US, of course not everywhere, but it's pretty pretty good with the Tesla chargers, the ChargePoint chargers, the Electrify America chargers, and the rest. It's pretty good now in, in a lot of areas. Uh, but how do we solve the dirty fuel that it takes to make the electricity? Aptera is the only company that says, what if we can go completely off-grid with this vehicle? What if we can drive 40 miles every single day on the power of sunlight, not on my roof, but on the roof of my car? That is why I think in the future, when we look back at Aptera, we'll say that is a revolutionary company. That was genius. That so improved on the first solutions to the other issues of fossil fuels and uh, the size of batteries, and it mastered the art of taking the car off the grid, and that solved the real situation. There's no dirty energy needed to run your Aptera. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You'll let me know in the comments. I know you will. You're very faithful with that. If I've missed anything or misspoken anyway, I'm sorry. Correct me, please, in the comments. Uh, if you agree with me, Give me one of those guys right there. Maybe subscribe. We're getting close to 3,000 subscribers. Doesn't sound like a lot, uh, but you know, for us, it's a lot. You can see it's we're, we're, we're anything but professionals here. But we appreciate all of you, the members of the channel. You're really we make more money just between this is just us talking, right? We make more money from our memberships most times than we do from uh, ad, uh, re revenue from the ads that that YouTube places on our videos. 
and any other form of uh, money, like affiliate links in the, in the description. We make very little on that. Really, it's the members that really keep us doing this. If it wasn't for you, uh, we would not keep doing this. We really appreciate the support. And the coffee, Bob Newchild bought us a cup of coffee this week. Bob, stop spending money on coffee. Uh, we do appreciate it, but uh, we, we, we do appreciate you. Some have went to our store and bought merch, the Mug Club. We appreciate you. Thank you, everybody. Here's another video that's not as um, boring as this one. Uh, this was just a thought I had. I just felt like I had to get out there. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.